Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode, I believe, 25 of Dinosaur Plays Final Fantasy VII. Um, I'm checking that real quick. Yeah, episode 25. It's good, it's good. We're good. Um, last episode, we went through Nibelheim and got the worst character ever. It's good times. And now, we have to proceed through Mount Nibel. Now. Uh, I'm never going to use Vincent, just FYI, I never have to, so I never will. Um, I recently started my new job today, uh, but as you can see I changed out of my professional clothes and I look like a bum again already, so that worked out well. And this episode is just going to be a slog, because Mount Nibel is a long dungeon with tough enemies. And this is where random battles become really dangerous again. They haven't really been a problem for a while, and now they are. I'm really sure I, I took a little damage in some of them, but it's getting it's getting serious again. I did not grind limit breaks like I said I would. I'm waiting until I get the last character I want in my party before I do that. So for now. We're just gonna keep going. Hooray! Now, uh, the last two episodes I recorded, I did last week, and I was still really sick for those. Now I'm feeling better, and I bet that I would, I'm going to have been more entertaining when I was sick and zonked down on medication. But we'll have to wait and see. So let's come up here. We get the Rune Blade, which is a weapon for Cloud. Double Materia or double materia growth, that is. He will no longer get added effect, so just gonna change some stuff around. Yeah, we want the HP plus to level up quickly. So, set that into his weapon, which will now gain double AP, which is what we want. So yeah, these enemies, now keep in mind as well that this area, uh, we were here already in Cloud's flashback. This is where we came through with uh, Sephiroth. Now of course, we didn't actually explore much of that as Cloud, we went through a little area, but now we get to do the real thing. These enemies attack quickly, and their attacks do a decent amount of damage, so it's actually really irritating. This is the only attack they have, but it kind of hurts. So, it's a pain in the ass. We just gotta keep plinking away at them until they go down. Come on. What is this called? A Q Builden. Q Builden? Q Builden? Whatever it is, it's dead, and I'm happy about it. It's kind of like a bug. Cricket mosquito. A cricket mosquito would be a bug if it existed, and it'd be called a Q building. So you can see just from that one battle, I actually took a lot of damage. Terrible. So we're gonna come down here. And then we're gonna come up. Damn it! There's a little path up to the north that I'm going to take to get some more items. Um, you know, it's, like, it's standard RPG stuff. Go off the beaten path and you'll get items. You'll get extra swag. And when I say swag, I use the pirate form of the word, meaning treasure, not the stupid connotation that kids nowadays use to mean, like, cool or awesome or whatever. It's stupid. Yeah, I said it. If you say you got swag to me, I will punch you. I will drive to wherever you are, I will punch you. Because I hate stupid slang like that, it's the most stupid shit ever. I mean, swag, YOLO, kids actually talk like this nowadays, and it's disgusting. That's right, I said it. So, we got a 
a ways to go to get up to that item up there. You can barely see it. I'd use a laser pointer to point it out on my screen, or I'd point it out with my fingers, but you wouldn't be able to tell what I was pointing at, so you're just going to have to wait until I get it to see what I was talking about. And I hate to say it, but uh, there's going to be very little plot this episode. Um, this is just going to be a slog through, through Mount Nibel. That's all it is. So, just a lot of battles. There's actually going to be a point where I'll probably take a break and like cut away from my screen like I, I did before because I want to steal armor again and it's going to take a while. Also, I need to get more money because the next town has really good materia and weapons, but it's expensive, so I need the money for it. So the plus barrette is a double AP growth weapon for Red 13, who is not in the party and we don't use, but it's money. Oh, come on. I should have ground levels out so that I could at least two-shot these enemies, because this is frustrating. So we're going to save the limit break for the next battle to make that one a little shorter, even though I could use it to make this one a little shorter. I know, my logic's flawed and stupid and silly. But, that's what we're doing. Because I'm the player, I say so. No! Well, I did say so, but I was wrong. Oh well. At least one of the batteries bad to do you. At least one of the battles was shorter. I mean, enemies drop a decent chunk of experience, decent chunk of money, so it's not as awful as I make it out to be. I just want it to be interesting for you guys. It certainly is not interesting when I get stuck in one place because I can't tell which direction I'm going. And it's already been about 10 minutes, and I'm still in the first screen of the dungeon. Great. Kill the enemies. There goes one. So, here's something that I, I guess I can talk about during battles, and, you know, I like the Final Fantasy games, I like JRPGs, so I, I like Final Fantasy, I like Breath of Fire, I like, uh, you know, there were a lot of games that I like, but here's the thing, like, I understand that the game's supposed to get progressively more difficult, and your characters are supposed to get stronger throughout the game, but by the end of the game, like, people should just be scared of you. If your exploits have become known, and people know about, like, the, the shit you've done, they should revere the ground you walk on. You should literally be heroes, and you should be, like, you should be feared. Because, I did, here's a game that kind of did it right, and that game is Legend of Dragoon, uh, for the PS1. A good game, terrible voice acting, like, some of the worst voice acting ever, but it's, it's a good game. It brings some interesting concepts to the JRPG. And about halfway through the game, yeah, about halfway through the game, like, people start to look at you and your party as heroes. And they're like, oh, wow, you can stay here for free, or we're going to tell you everything because we know what you've done and you can fix everything. So I think that more games should do that. And I, I guess there are some games where it's like, oh, well, you know, if you're fighting the government, the government's going to turn the people against you. That's okay. But the other complaint I have is that you become ridiculously powerful over the course of the games. And um, the games always end with fighting, like, God or the creator of the universe, or I am Nest T, and that's a StarCraft joke. Like, you end up fighting the most powerful being, who of course is evil, 
But it all boils down to the same thing, that you're fighting some god or some crazy uber-powerful being. And I just feel like... I want it to be normal. Like, Earthbound was a very quirky game. Where you're just a... You're, you're a regular kid. I mean, sure, you have psychic powers, but you fight enemies with baseball bats. You fight aliens and ghosts. And yeah, you get stronger. But... It's not as, like, as as forced as a lot of these games are, where you, you just feel like you're doing the, the same shit over and over again. Like, at the end of every Final Fantasy game, it's like, well, I'm going to be fighting God, or I'm going to be fighting some ridiculous, stupid enemy. That's what the narrative always leads to, is fighting God, or someone who wishes to become the god. I find it silly. So I was trying to use uh, Shiva there, but, you know, it didn't work. So, uh, now that I'm in this room and I ranted a little bit about JRPGs as much as I like them, I am going to get down to the save point and save and then get into random battles, grind some money, grind some levels, but most of all, grind to get the armor that I want. There's an enemy here called the dragon, it's a dragon, and you can steal gold armlets from it, and gold armlets are the next best wet, er, armor, and I don't want to have to pay for them. Let's see how this works. Good enough. I'm saving you if he's limit break for another battle. I hope I won't screw this up like I did with Cloud. Crap. Alright, Barrett, it's up to you, man. There we go. I feel like I'm actually under leveled for this part. But, here's the gimmick for this place, there's tubes, and you fall down them, some of them will lead you to items, you can see the boss of the areas right there, but for now, I'm going to bid you guys a fond adieu until I come back and I have the, uh, the armor I want. So, I'm sorry for the kind of boring first part of this, but like I said, it's a dungeon crawl. What do you, what do you want me to do? Can't do much. So I'll be back in a little while, guys. Thanks for watching. Hello guys, I am back days later than I said I would be. I don't even remember what episode this is, but, you know, I got a new job, so I've been busy, and with that, you know, I haven't had time to play video games, which is rather unfortunate. Now, when I left off last time, I was in the middle of an episode, and I said I was going to go grind for gold armlets. And I did that, as you can see. Three gold armlets. Uh, beyond that, each character has leveled up once or twice. Barrett now has this limit level 2 limit break. I leveled up some materia. I got 10,000 money. You know, it worked out for me. It, it did pretty well, I have to say. So now that we've got all that stuff, let me look at the materia here. What did I get? Damn it. Okay, so I have struck now, I have gravity, transform, I had seal, ice. I have a second elemental, I have a second all. You know, it did pretty well. I found some good stuff in my adventures. And now you can see, because my face isn't blocking it, in the lower right corner there's a boss. I have saved, I have completely healed up, and this boss is an asshole. Now, before I do this, I'm pretty sure that he can be paralyzed using Chocomon Materia. I could be wrong, but we're going to find out, aren't we? So, this is just like, there's no lore behind this boss, he's just there. He is the... there had to be a boss here, so we left him there so you could see him. And this attack hurts. So we are going to heal up after it. We're going to use Chocomog, hopefully paralyze the guy, and keep going. 
Now this boss is called the Materia Keeper. I don't know why. Good, he's paralyzed. I don't even think I get any Materia for killing him. I could be wrong. We'll find out. But, I'm gonna kill him. And that's what's important here. The thing is, I don't remember how long the last video was either. I'm. It's been a while. I haven't even paid attention. I've spent like half an hour fighting dragons and grinding for gold armlets. So, when I finish this battle, I'm going to exit Bible Mountain, and I'm going to get to the next town. I'm not going to enter it, I'm going to save. And then next episode, we'll go to the next town. And now, because this guy's paralyzed, I'm just friggin' wailing away on him. Ah, he's back. But I did, did a lot of damage, I think. This attack's gonna hurt. Oh, it's not that bad. You know, I bet if he was paralyzed, the death blow still would have hit him. How unfortunate. Because how can you miss a completely stationary target, is my question. This is where you have to start being really careful with HP. Like, once it starts getting below half, you need to heal. Because enemies will kill you. So, I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, health combo, this is gonna hurt probably. But, oh, that wasn't too bad. It will give me an excuse to show off Barrett's level 2 in a break, which I received in my grinding days. Her time grenade bomb, where he shoots out a giant grenade bomb. Which also sounds a little bit redundant. But hey, it does a lot of damage. It's better than Big Shot. I'm sick of Big Shot. Now the enemy's healing himself. It will not save him. We're just going to keep, keep nailing him. And that was not meant to be an entendre. I meant to say we're just going to keep hurting him. And if that is an entendre, you are sick. There is something wrong with you. Let's just keep going. So, I think back in the Shinra building, I missed an enemy skill materia. Which would allow me to learn enemy skills, which kind of sucks, but to be honest... I never used that material in a regular run through either, so I'm not too choked up about it. Keep everyone's health up, like so. And the fact that I ground for money is actually helpful because, like I said, I think I said it in the first part of this video that the next town has a lot of expensive material that I am going to want. And then after that, we'll have nearly explored the whole map, so we're going to be side-questing a little. Into one of the most frustrating places ever. But I will do it, because I'm a trooper. My game is lagging. I apologize. So, everyone's going to heal. Yuki and Cloud both have limit breaks after that laggy trying. We're gonna kill him, hopefully. So do some grease lightning. Dead. Didn't even need Cloud's one freak. I usually had a lot more trouble with this boss, I think. But I think grinding for the gold armlets helped. And I think I caught up in levels to where I should be. Which is very good. So he drops a counter materia, or is it counter attack? Counterattack. Counterattacks when damage is incurred. Very helpful. Gonna use it. And that, and this, after this, that will be a Mount Nibel. Let's blade beam one of these guys. Take him out, weaken the others. Barret has a limit break. Handy dandy. Dead. Dead. Ooh, crit. I'm not gonna waste there, it's one of break here. And just FYI, Yuffie's time in our party is growing short because I'm about to get the last character very soon. Next episode. That's not to say I won't ever use her again, but I'll use her very little again.
There will be one point later in the game where I use her. And that's it, guys. We're out of Mount Nibel. Hooray! Along with that, um, the usefulness of our buggy is pretty much dead. We barely used it at all, but we'll probably never use it again. And here's the next town. So, uh, this is kind of stilted, and I apologize because, like I said, I don't, last episode, or the last video I did was part of this episode, but it was days ago. Um, yeah. So we do all the typical shoutouts. Watch the rest of our videos, please. Facebook.com, Dinosaur and Megan. Check us out. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us, share us with your friends. Uh, I also started a Twitter for us, Dino and Megan. I barely have time to use it though because I'm still getting used to my new job. Um, anything you want to see, let us know. Any improvements we can make, let us know. And I think that's gonna do it. So this episode, we got through Mount Nibel in a very stilted fashion. Um, I learned that grinding for gold armlets really s helps out the leveling process. And when I say I'm going to be back in 20 minutes, I'm usually not back in 20 minutes. So, I appreciate you watching, and I'm sorry for how bad this video probably is. It'll be better next time. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you, see you, do things next time. Bye.